Nurse Marie here again, bringing you another story. This one is about elderly abuse and the death of an elderly uh, patient. Elderly Florida resident choked to death while his um, aide ignored him. By Nina Judah, October 1st, 2024. The aide's name is Beatrice Taylor. One Florida health aide's um, neglect allegedly caused, caused an elderly man his life after finding him on the floor in distress she walked away and hours later coldly remarked he was old anyway so what does it matter according to authorities beatrice taylor 25 was a health aide was assisting hands she's a health aide that worked for assisting hands home health care. She was working a night shift when she um, directed to the home. She was directed to the home of an 86 year old man, according to uh, Fox 13 News. The Polk County Sheriff's Office said the victim's family had hired around had um, had hired around the clock care for uh, from the facility. So the family of the patient hired around the clock care for the patient uh, from this facility, which was comprised of two 12 hour shifts during the day and night. So basically a 12 hour shift, you would have um, one aide come in the daytime for 12 hours and then you would have another aide relieve the day shift and she would come at night. He or she would come at night and do a 12 hour shift. So you would have, say for instance, they start at 8 a.m. It would be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m and then from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and it would go like that around the clock. The 86 year old had recently been hospitalized and subsequently diagnosed with congestive heart failure amid hospice service he had been receiving since August. So um, he had some type of uh, pacemaker uh, and and heart surgery, and he was also a hospice patient. Now, when you have a hospice patient, that is a patient that is in the last stages of life. Um, they get hospice care to keep them comfortable and keep them um, um, void of pain and discomfort. So this person, this patient, sound like they were in their last stages of life if, they're, if they were getting hospice care. During her 12-hour shift, she had the 12-hour night shift, Miss Taylor, during her 12-hour shift, which began at 9 p.m., Taylor was instructed that uh, she sh she was instructed that should an emergency occur within that uh, period, um, within the period, she immediately called 911. So she was instructed that during her shift, if any emergencies occur, she should call 911. When she arrived for her shift, when she arrived for her shift, the day shift aide told her that the victim and his wife were, read, were ready for bed, but not yet asleep. Company policy forbid employees from sleeping while on their shift. 
However, investigators alleges that Taylor fell asleep on a couch in the living room. Shortly after arriving, she woke up roughly around 1 a.m. Now, if you arrive at your shift starts, it says at 9 p.m. She did not wake up until 1 a.m. and heard a thump coming from the victim's bedroom. When she went into the bedroom, she witnessed the victim lying on his right side on the floor with his head wedged in between the nightstand and the bed. Taylor told detectives that she attempted to help the patient back into bed, but the patient told her not to touch him. So she left him on the floor and fell and failed to call 911 or her employer. She found him un she found him unresponsive hours later and dialed 911 at approximately 5:37 a.m. So Miss Taylor the aide found him at 1 a.m. and he was wedged on the floor between the bed and the dresser and she left him there until 5:37 a.m. so that's 1 a.m. 2 3 4 5 4 hours over 4 hours later was when she miss taylor went back to the patient an autopsy showed that the patient had an implanted pacemaker um, and um, manufactured was manufactured the manufacturer was later able to retrieve information providing cardiac data stored on the victim's implanted pacemaker which confirmed that the victim still the victim was still alive at 1 a.m. The victim was still alive at 1 a.m. when the individual found the patient lying on the floor. This is so sad. The patient passed away out of neglect. How out of neglect by an aid. There is a, a, a group, an organization called the Ombudsman. They have Ombudsman in every state of the United States. An ombudsman, they represent the patient, people who are elderly, senior citizens, the disabled, anyone that's being neglected, molested, abused, abandoned, RAP, any type of neglect, whether any type of abuse, whether it's financial abuse, physical, mental, emotional, call the ombudsman in your state. If you see or hear of anyone abusing an elderly person in any way, shape or form. I'm sure that this aid is going to serve some time in prison I'm sure that this AIDS license will be taken away and they will no longer be able to care for the elderly in any way, shape, or form. My condolences to the family of that patient and what that patient had to go through. The patient fell 
and was wedged between the bed and the dresser. And you left the patient there and went back to sleep. And the patient was alive. Even if you claim, allegedly you claim, Miss Taylor claimed that the patient did not want her to touch him. You still have to call 911. You still have to call your employer. You cannot leave a patient laying on the floor like that and go back to sleep. That's neglect. That's abandonment. That's abuse. And this was the response that the 25-year-old the aide, Ms. Taylor, gave the police when they asked why she did not attend to him like she was supposed to. She was nonchalant, non-caring. She said, he's old anyway. He's gonna die anyway, so what does it matter? So heartless, so cold, so uncaring. As a nurse myself in the medical field, I tell people all the time, if you are just getting into the medical field just for financial reasons, you're getting into it for the wrong reasons. You have to have a, a caring heart. You have to uh, have uh, empathy for others. You, 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 you can't be a person that is just in it for the money and you don't have any patience. You, you, you're not kind, you're not caring. I feel so bad for this family of this 86 year old patient and what this patient had to lay there all those hours and suffer through. And this can make it look bad for all the other nurses aides that are out there. And it, 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 it looked bad on, on us who are the ones that really care about our patients. It builds a lack of trust between the patient and the aide when things like this happen. I, I ask of you, leave your comments in the comment section. Tell me of any stories that you have, any experiences that have ever happened to you or your loved ones, or, have, or you have experienced seeing it or hearing it in a nursing home facility or, or wherever you work. If you are in the nursing field, if you are in the medical field and you have any experiences of, of, of neglect and abandonment and, and abuse towards the elderly, please share. And for those who have elderly, um, elderly loved ones or disabled loved ones, please look out for them and make sure that they are being taken care of because some of the people that are caring for your loved one, unfortunately, either aren't trained to care for your loved one properly or they're just not in it. Their heart and their, 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 they don't have the care and the love and the heart for it. They're just doing it in order to make a living. So please look out for your loved ones. Um, look out for your disabled, look out for your senior citizens because they are the most vulnerable in our society and you have to understand that one day you will be the person in that same shoes you will be an elderly one day you can possibly become disabled one day and need somebody to care for you and treat you with dignity and respect 
this woman was neglectful. That's called neglect of a patient. To leave the patient on the floor to die. That's heartless. Leave your comments in the comment section. This one really touched my heart. And I wanted to share it with you. This is Nurse Marie coming to you with another story. Unfortunately, it was a sad one, but I bring you another story from Nurse Marie. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Until next time, be good to yourself, be good to others. Respect yourself if you want to be respected. Take care of your elderly, your senior citizens, your disabled. And until next time, bye-bye.